Okay, so this is drill one. This is your standard low ground jump peak from the wall where you jump back like this. Because of the methods that I've used to build this map, you have to place a wall here first and then you can place your cone floors and practice your double edits into jump peaks. Okay, then you're going to want to switch over to position two. In this position, you can do this peak. You can also do this peak on the first position, but I prefer to just do it now. It's basically the same peak, just move back a bit. Okay, position three. Basically just repeat the same peak, connecting one to the stair down here. The only difference this time is because the target is further up, you're gonna have to change the position that you jump from. So if you jump up here, you're gonna be exposing a lot of yourself and you're not gonna get a good angle on the target. So you jump further down and that's gonna allow you to see way more when you actually jump. And then you come back here and do the same peak. And now that you're a wall lower, you don't even have to edit. You can just do a peak like this where you just jump straight back and you can get shots off. And position four, you're going to be doing pretty much the exact same thing. Once you've gone through those positions, you can go on to draw five. So the peaks that you want to perform in this is the top corner edit like this. There's a couple ways you can do it. And I want to also explain some of the movement behind this. If you want to edit it from here and peak from here, you do not want to jump from the center. You want to jump sideways. So if you're in the middle here, just remember, jump sideways. If you're in the corner here already, that's perfect. You don't have to jump sideways at all, really. Just a little bit after you jump, because you can kind of steer yourself out just at the peak of your jump. So that would just look like this. You see that I'm jumping up straight, but just steering out of the way at the last second. Now things change a bit when you're standing on a cone. If you want to stand right here and get this peak, and you have no roof above you, that's going to be annoying because you're going to constantly be uh, losing your target and it takes a lot of timing to land that. So a better way to do this is to actually jump back a little bit and you're going to see your target a little bit better. And then if there's a floor above you, you don't have to do any of that because you're going to get bounced down. The next edits are your simple window edits. The way that I do these is I hug the wall so I can get as much vision as possible. I diagonal walk out just a little bit. You barely have to move just like that and you're already um, in vision. And if you want to aim in a little bit, you're going to have to walk out a bit more. To unpeak, I diagonal walk using my W and A, and you want to utilize that forward momentum to get back um, behind cover. And this same technique applies to all right hand peaks. You have this peak, and you can also do that same peak over here. Then you have this peak, which is a little bit more situational. You want to be sitting right here, and you're basically jumping and strafing out of the way. Basically, you want to be shooting right around this area here, similar to um, wanting to be right around here with a peak of your jump. With this edit, you want to be shooting right around here. Okay, next drill. The next drill is basically just your ramp peaks. So there's two different patterns you can do in this drill. The first one is this one, where you're just editing the right peaks. The second drill is a bit more complicated. So you're going to start on your ramp like this. You're going to reverse it like this. Then you're going to edit the wall like this. And this gives you a jump peak that can hit a very far diagonal target. If you're far forward, you're going to want to basically run and jump backwards as you're shooting just so that you're not jumping straight up here and exposing yourself. You want to use this line of the ramp as cover. And then next row, we're going to go from that. We're going to basically mirror this on the other side and edit it like this and go into our top corner edit and then run forward here and get a jump peak on the target facing forward. So this peak, we're going diagonal. Then this peak, we're going right in front of us. And then from there, we're gonna switch this ramp to be facing like this. Then we're gonna select the wall and then edit the top corner from behind here to do this far side disadvantage kind of counter edit. And that's gonna be to shoot the diagonal target that's strafing in between the corner of these two walls. And then from there, we're gonna leave this ramp where it is. We're gonna edit the wall like this, and then open this edit again from back here. Then we're going to reset this wall, and from here we're going to go and mirror this again, 
And then from here, we're going to go into the top corner edit and then shoot at the target right in front of us. And then from here, we're going to go and edit this ramp like this. And then we're going to edit the wall like this. And this is to hit the diagonal target over here. Order, and you're going to want to do that drill in the order that it just showed you, and reverse. So in reverse, it's going to look like this. And then I'm just going to do this quickly in the forward direction. Okay, next drill. Basically, all you're going to want to do is hold the wall here. When the target destroys the wall, just shoot through it and then replace. The main thing with that pattern is just masking your movement and making it unpredictable, making sure you're keeping head level crosshair placement, and also just shooting and replacing the wall as quickly as possible. Okay, next drill. This next drill is your long range spray punish. And for this drill, you have to shoot start drill and that's gonna spawn a target in a random location. Make sure that you have a box built before you spawn the target so that you don't get shot at like I just did. Okay, so once you have your walls out here, you're just gonna wanna sit here. And then once the wall is destroyed, take a shot and then replace, the, uh, replace with the wall. Now, if you shoot this again, you can actually get a second target to spawn if you want this to be more challenging. Okay, next drill. So this drill is your close range high ground peaks. The drill that I like to do here is you get a ramp floor down and you do this edit. And this edit is a right peak here. So if it's close in, you do a right peak, and if it's far away, you do a jump peak. And then combine that with resetting at the same time, it's, it's very hard to punish someone for this peak. Next peak you can do is you edit this, and then you edit the floor once, and then you have a jump peak that you can do here against the target right against the wall. And the way that I do the movement in this is I crouch and I don't double tap to jump. I think it's a little bit slow. You can actually press crouch and then space right after. You almost want to be pressing these at the same time as pressing crouch just a little bit sooner. And you can almost skip the whole crouch animation. You're basically just jumping right away. And you also want to kind of look diagonal and you're actually going to get a better angle to shoot this target. If you're looking straight forward, you have a higher chance of um, hitting the, your floor here. Next drill is your long range crouch peaks. And in the past, I've shown the movement that you want to do here which is just you go forward, uncrouch, you shoot, and then you go backwards and crouch at the same time. So just, and I like to strafe while I'm doing this just so that my position every time I pop up is unpredictable and it's harder for someone to punish this if I do this a couple times in a row. So I have targets back here and then I have a target in front. And basically what you wanna do here is you wanna practice exposing yourself the least amount possible. Basically just being as minimalistic as possible with the amount that you expose yourself and then you want to practice quickly being able to change that position and estimate that position. So look at this target right in front of you. So just find the place where you can shoot at this target without this red X showing up. And then you can just peek from here. And then you switch up your targets, get in that perfect position again, make sure that you're in that perfect position. And eventually you just want this to be muscle memory. You don't want to have to set up like this every time. Basically you just want to find that perfect point where you're exposing yourself the least amount possible. Okay, next drill. So you're going to want to build a ramp like this and maybe a floor below you just in case you shoot at your ramp and fall. Then you're going to sit here and look out diagonally and you're going to be uncrouching, walking out shooting and then crouching back in. And you can drop down lower if you want. Practice the same thing. And as you drop lower, the target's gonna appear to move further out. And also when you drop lower, you can actually start shooting at these targets again. 
Okay, so this is the last drill, and what you're going to be doing here is you're going to be tarping over it as if you were tarping over somebody um, end game, maybe in like a 1v1 situation. And there's actually a nice little spray punish thing that you can do to someone trying to shoot you out. So you can go out here using cones or cones floors, whatever you want. But basically, as he's about to shoot this out, you're going to want to jump and then um, spray punish.